Good afternoon. 11th of uh, June 21. EU 50 or 25%. Disruption 76. Then most European cabotage uh, rules require 50% EU crew and uh, non-EU crew. Now, we are trying to cut uh, numbers that are not even, but uh, we cannot, for now. Guess no one uh, was able before to do so, but we have uh, here a very, uh, uh, let's say, a positive 27 European countries in maritime training. They have united all these uh, training uh, schemes and uh, uh, systems, subjects, certificates. No, that's a lie. <laughs> Not even in coronavirus. They did uh, put themselves towards one common goal, which is the future of merchant marine and Europe is surrounded by the sea. Yes, well, then, if you have not been able, dear governments of Europe, to uh, uh, at least simplify, uh, make more effective one system, uh, rating to officer, uh, same four years training so that uh, cadets can and, uh, and the ratings can have contact with the sea younger and uh, one educational system. Now that you have not been able, let's say you have been incompetent in these training systems in Europe, then why require 50% European crew if you have not been able to supply and train? Why do ship owners have to pay for the inefficiency, incompetency of the maritime uh, governments, administrations. Why? I don't see the point here. Because it is huge constraint today to comply with 50% EU group, non-EU group cabotage in European waters. Therefore, can you lower it please 25% only? Because it's not the uh, uh, negligence of the ship owners. Ship owners have on perfect, they are heroes in this business and uh, seafarers too. But the uh, constraint of 50% now it is not going to be possible. And this is an expert telling you, governments, that the tsunami is here. So uh, this would be very intelligent once. You see, in this coronavirus, perhaps we can start to think a little bit, act a little bit in Europe, together united, and lower this constraint of 50 to 25 percent. It's only disruption 76. Thank you. Take care. Have a nice weekend. Bye.